Hello and welcome to the Harriet Muller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. I'm loving all the seaside themed requests that I'm getting from you guys, thank you so much. One of them being this starfish. So this is what we're going to be drawing today. Super simple, all that you need is some plain white paper. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, and a black pen, that's it. And don't forget, if you like to draw animals, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you'll find in the link just here. So let's get started. Okay, so if you've got a sheet of A4 paper like this one, we're going to be drawing a line from the bottom left-hand corner to the top. We're not gonna go the whole way. We're just going to do a line just like this. And you don't need a ruler. It doesn't have to be accurate, okay? So if you measure kind of halfway, that's a halfway mark, and then you go to the right a little bit more, let's say there. Then we're going to draw a line going diagonally this way. So a line like that. Then we're going to be drawing two lines coming out diagonally like this. So the first one comes down like this. Okay, we're going to be doing another one in this direction towards the bottom right hand corner of the page. So just draw it along with me. Remember, if I go too quickly, please just pause and rewind. Okay, you with me? Now, we're going to be drawing some smaller lines now. So from the centre up to here, we're going to be drawing a little line. One little line like that. From the centre up to here, we're going to be drawing another one. So, using your pencil, just go up like this. We're going to carry on from the centre to the middle here, another line. From the centre, in between these two big lines, I'm going to draw another one. And from the centre again, in between these two big lines, we're going to be drawing another one. Okay, if you've got this far, you're doing so well. Carry on. Now, we're going to join up all the ends of these lines. So, from the top of this one, just draw a rounded top and come down. Remember not to press too hard. We're going to go over it again. So, from here, we're going to just draw a line coming to the end of this one. Make it curved at the end, bring it in till it hits this little one. We're going to do that again. So bring it down, make it curved at the end, and bring it up to hit this one. So we're going to do it again. So we go all the way over here, make it curved. It's going to come all the way up to hit this little one. And then again, up here, and then curved at the top, and then you bring it round to there. And then the last one, just join it all up. That's the end of stage one. Okay, now we're going to make a few tweaks just to make it look a little bit realistic. So this little arm of the starfish is going to be pointing up. So we're just going to start just about here and then the tip's going to actually come out here and come round there and we're going to raise this line. So let's just get rid of these parts. Just like that. And this centre line is going to curve upwards like this. And then we're going to do the same just here. So just erase the tip of this part. And this one's just going to kind of tilt towards the right hand side, just like that. Because starfish are living animals and they're not completely straight. Okay, we're just going to do this little arm, just kind of tilting up again. So just the end going to tilt up and the center line just goes upwards like that. Okay you can carry on in pencil but I'm going to continue in pen just so you can see it more clearly. We're going to go and do the outline of the starfish so just using tiny little bumps can you see what I mean? Just 
do tiny little bumps all the way along the edge of the starfish. Okay, it's going to show that it's got a bumpy exterior. So just do this the whole way along. And remember that the little arms go upwards just here and then just carry on with the bumps just around the outline. So carry on like this. And let me know in the comments if you've ever actually seen a starfish on the beach or in the wild somewhere. And just carry on with these little bumpy lines. They're such beautiful creatures. Okay, carry on all the way around. I'm just going to speed this up just slightly now. Okay, now we're going to do some details. So right in the center, we're just going to draw a dot. And then using lots of little dots, we're just going to draw a ring around that dot. Like that, it's more like an oval shape. And then another ring around that one, just using tiny little dots like this. And then just one more ring with all the little dots slightly more spaced out, like that. Now we're going to do little clusters of dots. So starting from the tips, we're just going to do lots of little dots. Just going in a line. Just crossing this center line that we did in pencil. Okay, and then we're going to do the same on this one. So little dots in a line kind of the same distance that we did these lines going across. So carry on doing those. Notice that my lines are slightly curved. So try and do that in yours. There we go. And then we're gonna do the same on this one. Remember to draw them slightly curved, these little dotted lines. That's just to show that the starfish isn't flat, stuck on the ground to make it look a little bit more 3D. And then just notice that the spaces in between these get slightly larger the closer we get to the center. And we're gonna do the same here. Now notice that these ones are curving in the opposite direction. There we go. And then we're going to do the same, so they're curving that way. Lots of tiny little dots. It's quite a good effect to kind of show all the little dimples on the starfish um, exterior. Here we go. Okay, now we're just going to follow these lines just a little bit. So from the center, follow that center line just to about there. And again here, just about halfway. And again here, there, and the same here. And same here. Just going to draw a few little lines coming up this one, and again up there, up here too, and here, and here. And also, if you wanna go really way out, we can draw some shadow using dots. So if you imagine the light's coming from this direction, this area is going to be in shadow. So if we use lots of little dots in the area in shadow, we can show that this is slightly darker. So just increase the number of dots in an area to make it darker.
like that. And there's also shadow down here, so just do a little cluster of darker dots. So maybe press a little bit harder, do more dots. All along this bit. And here as well. So this technique uh, using lots of little dots, it's called pointillism. I've actually got a tutorial on it if you're interested. I'll put a link up in the top right hand corner now. So just draw lots of these little dots going all along the edge here. And then you can draw some on the sand just here just to show that this is in shadow as well. And just here as well. Because remember where the light source is coming from, it's coming from over there. And just a little bit of shadow here. And just a tiny bit just there. Okay, so now I'm going to raise all the pencil lines. So here's your finished starfish. Don't forget to sign your name in the bottom right hand corner because it's your artwork. And if you enjoy doing other marine life, here's a tutorial on how to draw a seahorse. I think you'd like it. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like if you enjoyed this and you'd like to watch more like this. Take care and hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye.